Yo guys, welcome back to a pretty new PDCGO Dark Souls video. Now, we're going to be hopping out of standard for today, and we're actually going to be going into the expanded format to play expanded Mad Party, which is actually ridiculously insane. Like, it is, this deck is nuts. Um, now, at first, I kind of wrote this deck off and expanded. I was like, well, Night March is just better. But then I realized, well, there is more Mad Partiers, which does mean you do more damage. And I'll say right now, this deck slaps and expanded, especially when you make your opponent go first. And they're not playing a Donk deck. It is just nuts. Of course, Mad Party is nuts thanks to Battle Compressor. Kind of being what just allows you to go dump your Mad Partiers. We have all kinds of things to make this deck click. And I've been playing around this deck for the past few days. And I will say right now, this deck is pretty good um, in Expanded. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Karkav and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, guys, if you're still looking to pick up any Dark of Blaze codes, you're still trying to get all the nice cards from Dark of Blaze, like Crobat, Return Tiss, or Santa Scorch VMAX, uh, make sure to get your codes over at Karkav and TCG. Um, of course, guys, if you're also looking for any other set code like Team Up or Unified Minds codes or Hidden Fates codes or Unbroken Bonds codes or Rebel Clash codes, you can also get my Karkav and TCG. You can also check out their buy list if you have any codes or cards there you don't need you can trade them in a card cabin and you get some cash and instruct credit for any unused codes and cards so you can check all that out if you want over at card cabin tcg if you get anything from card cabin guys use my discount code code ldf at the checkout for a five percent discount on your purchase support the channel help yourself out and about card tcg so yeah check out card cabin tcg down below and use code ldf you also check out the article i just posted um on the post rotation guide kind of talking about the the rotation and what changes and all that good stuff so also check out my patreon down below if you want to pledge two dollars a month for exclusive content make sure to check out my patreon you can watch some extra legacy videos pack opening videos extra games with certain decks so yeah check it out all right let's take a look at the mad party list i got and expanded so this is what i'm rocking with here i've been really liking this list in particular there definitely could be some changes made to it for starters i don't play any scoop up net in here i also don't play any like trainer's mail but I can't really find room for it because every card in this deck kind of serves a purpose, I find. So the nice thing about Mad Party is that there's more Mad Partiers than there are Night Marchers. So you have more damage output. Like this deck can literally do 240 damage on the first turn, which is pretty ridiculous because you got four Rhymes, four Pulte Guys, four Dedenne. Though already right out of the get-go, that is 12 Pokemon to discard. And then you also have the Bonnelbees you can discard too. And we can use it to, with Marshadow, Fighting and Lightning or you know, our Dark and Lightning, sorry, are really popular and expanded. So Marsh Shadow can take easy one shots. You also have Mew, you know, you run into those Psyche Wee Pokemon like Mew 3. And the nice thing too about Expanded is all the turbos we have. We have access to Shaman, Crobat, and Dedenne to dig through your deck, which is pretty insane. We have a lot of draw engine in the Expanded. And plus we have our supporters too, which uh, I'm playing a very simple count. I'm playing one Guzma, one N, two Juniper, one Teammates. Because we have so much draw support Pokemon, I, you don't really mind. And once this deck gets in the rhythm of thinning the deck out and, you know, doing its thing, you you don't really need to play, like, any more than, like, really, like, eight to seven supporters. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Because once this deck gets in this rhythm, it just plows through the opponent. Um, it's ridiculous um, how good Mad Party is expanded. Really, you're only trying to avoid, like, Ultra Necrozma because it can shut off Mew and... Mar Shadow and you know Alger Cosmos is not fun to play against in general. It's a it's a horrible deck, so you just don't want to run into that. You probably don't run into stuff like Aggro either. But really, if you're running into someone who's just using like a simple V Max GX EX attacking deck, you just run them over like no tomorrow. Going to the items now. I am playing three Acrobike. I'm actually really like an Acrobike in here. Acrobike and Trainer's Mail are both really good options. But I'll tell you right now, Acrobike has actually been more helpful than Trainer's Mail. I've been finding. Um, for obviously for Compressor, it's like the heart of the deck. I got comp search, great catcher. I am playing a treasure. Uh, I'm trying this out, but you can use treasure to actually get one of your psychic Pokemon. You do have, obviously, you know, 10 psychic Pokemon to search for. You can use treasure to get Mew in play, to attack with Mew. You can use it to get a Pulte Geist or, you know, Dedenne in your hand to discard. You can also discard a Mad Party to get another Mad Party to then discard that Mad Party. Here. So you can kind of see a little rhythm there. Uh, I got two Quick Balls, one Stretcher, four Ultra Balls. Um, I got a Stretcher. Again, just get back like a, you know, Marsh Shadow or something. If you have a dead hand, you can also compress her away to Denny, Shaman, or Crobat, and then stretch her back. Also, I have a Revive. Another card I'm trying out is Revive. It just, quite simply, just puts, like, a Bunnelby or a Mew or Marsh Shadow back into play for free. Why not try it out? I mean, I like it. Um, I got one Special Charge. I'm only playing five Energy. Um, I got four Via Seekers, a simple Supporter Count, Guzma, and Juniper Teammate. Straightforward Supporter Count. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. I got a choice band, a muscle band. I got only one float. I probably want to maybe play two float stones. That is something I'm considering is either playing two floats or like a scuba net or two, or maybe bump up the Guzma count. 
Um, and then I got four DCEs and then one twin energy. Just keeping it simple, five energy. I mean, it's not that hard to find energy, especially with all the draw support we have and stuff. I, I don't really think it's that hard to find energy. You could, you can go up to six energy. You can, you can play four DC, two twins if you want. Up to you. But yeah, let's go show this deck off. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of these games are gonna probably be quick because quick concedes from the opponent because we pop off so quickly. So get ready for some chaos. All right, guys, get into our first match. I think really the only thing when playing in this Mad Party deck, it's insane, but we just probably want to avoid um, Alternate Crosma. It's, I just don't like playing against the deck, but I mean, the deck probably just auto wins us. Ooh, we get a Dedenne star, not the Dedenne I'd like. Our hand's actually pretty good though, but we need to move Dedenne. I maybe want to bump up the Floatstone count to like two or something. But I mean, there are, there's a lot of Pokemon we can start with, so it's not like that bad. All right, we might be able to just donk them here. Let's just see. Hi. Right. Uh, do we have? Okay, chill out. I meant to put Rhyme in the discard. How are we looking here on floats? Okay, float stones in the deck. It's good to know. Let's go here. Do this. We'll do this for Shaman. Or maybe, yeah, mm, no, nah, it's fine. We have another Ultra Ball, obviously. So I'm fine with doing this. We're just going to dig as much as we can this turn to try to get what we're looking for. Yikes. Not not a great start. I don't like Ultra Balling here. Don't like doing this. Can't really do Revive. Yikes. We can play the Special Charge, though. That was good. All right, we can set up. I would have liked to play in Revive, but obviously there's something I want to put on the bench. How we looking? Okay, well, we didn't get what we were quite looking for. Uh, we'll just end the opponent, I guess, and hope for the best. I don't think we'll get a knockout, though. Yeah, we didn't. Well, we could Acro Bike, actually. There's still hope. I could also do Crobat. Looks like we actually might need to do Mars Shadow here. Um, yeah, it looks like Mars Shadow is going to come in handy. We'll just take this. We'll just bench the Mars Shadow. Yeah, we're not going to get a knockout this turn, and I'm fine with that. Ooh, nice Acro Bike. Okay, cool. We could retreat. I mean, do we want to just retreat the Dedenne? Nah. I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to attach and pass. Hope they don't hammer me. I'm just, Next turn, we'll try to move the Dedenne. They could probably just knock me out. I don't... Like, I don't want to move Dedenne. I don't think I don't think we need to. I think we'll just stay in the active and let him do his thing. We had a popping turn. That was a long turn. Uh, but yeah, all we really need to do is just attack with Mars Shadow over and over again, and we win the game. We still have a revive, right? Yeah, because as long as we can just revive Mars Shadow. Yeah, Mars Shadow's going to be the main attacker here. We'll see if they end up benching a Pika Rom or not. We don't have Guzma in the discard. They bench a Bolt Hunt. They bench a to Tapu Koko. Okay. Can they knock out my Dedenne? I low-key want them to. I don't want them to knock out Mars Shadow. It could happen, but I mean, that way this thing gets off the board. We'll see what they decide to do. I want them to kill the Dedenne, because if not, we can always just, like... Try to dig here with Juniper. Try to get a float. All right, they didn't get a knockout. All right, well. Get a Battle Compressor top deck. Just put the remaining Night March. Or lot Mad Partiers. There's too many. There's too many Marchers. There's too many Marchy Mad Partiers. All right. We need to get energy or we need to get float. All right, we got the energy. Not really worried about the Rhyme being in my hand, though. We can play this. I don't really know what else I need to get rid of at this point. I guess Bunnelby... Treasure can go. That's probably about it. Every other card I think we want to keep. Choice Band would have been okay to get rid of too, because we're already we're well over one shotting them, right? 480 damage. We're doing 220. No, 240 damage. So Pika Rom wouldn't even live the turn. We get another Bundle Beast. We can go Ultra Ball again. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much like we're just gonna run over them like just every turn, and we're just gonna be one shotting. And I mean, if I mean if they did get the knockout that did any last turn, I guess they maybe could have caught up to us, but I don't think they can win at this point. We'll see. They could still attack Marsh Shadow here, possibly. Yep, they just concede. <laughs> it's just too easy to win with this deck. It's just too good. And it's too fast and expanded. Map Party is nuts and expanded. All right, guys, get into the match here. We'll see if we're up against anything. It looks like maybe against a dark deck. We'll see what kind of dark deck it is. Um, so we do have Marsh Shadow in the deck for a reason. Let them go first. We'll see how this goes. All right, we got a Marsh Shadow start. We don't have a supporter, though. Hmm, this could be bad. That's the only issue with playing this one random treasure is it can get us Dedenne, Mew, and Pultigeist, but it can't get us 
We can't. I mean, maybe we should play Tapu Lele then. I don't know. Hopefully, we just drop something here. I mean, we'll see. We can always fall back on a revive here. But this matchup should be easy. I mean, they're playing a deck that is entirely weak to Marshadow, so we should just be able to run them over. Okay, there we go. We can just get Dedenne or whatever. All right, cool. All right, go one, two, three. Go one, one, one. Just time to just rummage through the deck. Oh, we actually need to put a bottom in the discard for Marshadow. Okay, let's do that. All right, cool. All right, we'll uh, stretcher, get the Dedenne, GX. I mean, yeah. I don't know how long my opponent's gonna last if uh, if he does that all last, but we'll see. Because we're just gonna run him over here, and we're probably gonna donk him as long as we know with energy. Okay, that was. How are we playing this? Go Ultra Ball. Get Shaman. Yep, they just can see. We didn't even like, bro. We didn't even attack them. They just conceded immediately. They're just like, oh, I'm out of here. Alright guys, getting another match here. We're just going through all these games, and uh, we're up against the Psychic deck. Uh, really, again, we're just trying to avoid Ultra Necrozma, I think. That's the only deck, well, I guess Egg Route 2, we don't want to see. Those are like the two cheese decks we don't want to run into. I mean, Ultra Necrozma is just not fun to play against just in general, so... As long as we just don't play against that, we should be okay, but I mean... <laughs> we probably will get a lot of wins where the opponent doesn't even really play a turn because they just concede immediately. That's the nature of Mad Party. I'm gonna bench the Bunnelby, obviously, in case... We might be able to get a Donk deck, who knows. Uh-oh, Shaman start? This could be a Donk deck. I haven't ran into Donk at all yet with while well playing this deck, even at night when I was grinding. Okay, it's not a Donk deck. I mean, making them go first, too. Like, they don't even have anything. We're probably just gonna Donk them here. <laughs> it's nuts, dude. That is nuts. Well, that was a nice, uh, full decision. All right, just give me a discard. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I mean, yeah. What am I? What does my opponent do at this point? <laughs> just gonna get this. We just need to. Still need to get a few things. We just need, literally, if we get a battle crush, we win. Maybe we should take in the crowbat. Ooh, we didn't get what we we're looking for. Okay, well, Juniper. We just need to get a battle compressor to win the game here, and that's all we need. There we go. Or that works too. The ultra ball works. One, two, three. And yeah. Donkaroonie. They didn't even, like, the, the turn one rule change, making them go first so they can't do anything. They can't bench anything else. And then we go, and then we just spam mad parties in the discard and we donk them. Poor, I feel bad. They're, they're playing an OG Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo deck, and we just, we didn't give them a chance. Even if they did set up, we had the Mew, hit the Mewtwo's for weakness. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This deck is filthy. All right, guys, getting another game. We're just going through games and just going, 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 just hitting people, making them concede real quickly, getting free, easy wins with the Mad Party deck. It's how you do it on the block. Now, again, we're just pretty much trying to avoid the Ultimate Cosmo. All right, we'll let them go first. Looks like we've been recognized here. They might be playing a dark deck, hopefully. Get a Mew start. Hmm, not great. I might bench to Dene in case they're playing Dom. Well, I guess we'll find out if they're playing Dom by this moment. They're not. Okay, cool. It's not an alternate across my deck either. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll start with Mew here as long as they don't play Latios EX. And like Zigzagoon, we should be chilling. Yeah, I don't think they're playing a Donk deck though, so we should be safe. Actually, we might be playing a Psychic Weak deck. Oh, they're playing Dragapult? Okay. Dragapult might be a little interesting because it does have the ability to knock out Mobile Pokemon at once. Um, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, I'm glad they attached the active because we're most likely going to be knocking this thing out. We have a pretty pop in hand, so we might just knock this out. Okay, Ghastly. Ooh, they're playing Gengar Dragapult. That's fine. I guess it is one consideration. Mad Party, maybe this deck gets bodied by spread, but even then. Um, even then. All right, we'll take this Muscle Band. Uh, we'll just dead A change, I guess, first so we can hold on to our supporter for turn. As well, there we go. That's what we're hoping for. Cut the battle comp. Just go one, two, three. Okay, I'm trying to go fast here, but we can go one, two, three to Dene. One, two, three. Bench this. Do this. Drop Shaman. Um. Okay, we need to get Bunnelby here. There we go. Nice, good hand too. 
check out the battle compressor. <laughs> it's just dirty, man. It's just dirty. It's too dirty. Yeah, that's definitely a knockout, right? I'm going to hold the hand, too, and just take the Mad Party knockout. We still have our supporter for the turn, don't we? Yeah, whatever. Let's just take the KO. How much is this doing? 260 damage. Holy cow. Quick ball and DC. Perfect. We got DC for next turn. I think if we attack with Bunnelbees, we should be good. We might have just bench Marshad or something. I don't know. Because, again, he can knock out multiple uh, basics at once with Dragapult VMAX. Do we have Guzman to discard? We do. So we can actually Guzma next turn. I'm probably going to do that, to be honest with you. But, I mean, yeah. It just popped off, bro. He just This man didn't stand a chance. I mean, we can possibly reach up to... We could probably hit 320 damage. We just got to go, go, go. Okay, it brings in the Dragapult. He's going to knock me out with Bite. He could knock me out with Shred 2 on the Dragon VMAX, which is kind of what I'm scared of. He also could get a Gengar into play. Yep, there's the Dragapult. There's the energy. Does he have a supporter? Nope, a treasure, though. That's good. He might not be playing Tapu Lele GX, which is what I'm hoping for here. Treasure can't get him any draw cards either, which is good. Let's see what he gets. I think Floatstone might be pretty important here. We might need a free retreat pivoter, and considering we have all these low HP Pokemon that get destroyed by Dragapult VMAX. We'll see, though. Alright, nice. He's in top deck mode. Beautiful. Well, kind of. He'll take a prize, but he'll still be in top deck mode. Alright. This could get interesting. We still have to deal with the, the Max Phantom, which is a little bit of a problem. Doesn't matter what we attack with. I guess as long as we just have two mad parties in play, we should be okay. What do we got? Uh, Juniper. Yeah, we'll just do the Juniper then, I guess. We could Guzma, knock out the Ghastly, but then we just give him Haunter. Maybe we just Juniper. We pretty much just want him to stay in top deck mode. Um, we probably should bench this just to have it and just have another attacker option. And hold the hand too. We're just gonna mad party. Unfortunately, not taking a knockout. We're only doing 240, but we're still two shotting him. He needs to. I mean, we have enough Pokemon to attack with. I mean, this thing won't survive the turn. All right, he has the energy. Let's see what he does. He could knock out both Bunnelbees. That makes us do then 280 damage, which I don't think he wants to do. Um, we'll see what he's got. Does he? Did he get a draw supporter though? That's the main question. Did he get like a Marnie, a, a Research, whatever, Juniper, and Chorus? What did he get? I mean, he could also target down the, the two prizers if he wants also. I mean, he probably just wants to take the easy prizes on the low HP Pokemon, though. If he had Zigzagoon, he actually could have um, knocked out Bunnelby and then saved the extra damage for later. But let's see what he puts the damage. Yeah, he's going to knock out the Mew. I'm fine with that, actually. I don't really mind Mew getting knocked out. Um, okay, so he takes his two prizes. We're going to knock out this Dragapult VMAX. And I guess as long as we hold on to this uh, via Seeker, we can probably win. We'll play an acro bike. Yeah, let's get another energy for next turn. And mad party for the knockout. Easy dubs. 200. I mean, resistance, not gonna matter though. We're still two shotting. Ultra balls. And what's our other prize looking like? Another rhyme. All right, cool. What else? Another. Oh, I didn't realize we had two mad parties. So we can ultra ball them away here. Increase our damage output a little bit. I, again, I don't think we can one shot Dragapult. We'd have to go Marshadow every Mad Party in the discard pile, but we have that resistance, so I don't think I don't think we have that. But I think we've won this. Like, I don't see how my opponent's gonna stop me. All, all they can really do is like end me to one and like hit me with like an enhanced hammer or something, I guess. And then hope I don't draw in an energy, which could happen. Um, I mean I could save the acro bike in case if that does happen, but our deck is pretty thin at this point. Really the only thing's clunking the deck up, I think are like the mad partiers. So it's not really a big deal. Yep, research. All right, that's not going to stop me, and that will be game then, because research will not allow my opponent to play reset or anything, because it is not in, it is banned in the expanded format. So, once again, Mad Party taking a pretty swift dub here. Yep, I mean, bro, <laughs> it's just ridiculous, bro. Just, this deck is ridiculous. Even when we're playing against, like, usually you play against Dragapult and Standard, you get plowed by, you play Mad, you get plowed by Dragapult if you're playing Mad Party, but not today. Not an expanded. All right, well, we got, we'll open up a pack here, I guess. See what we can pull. I actually opened up one recently and got a reverse haul of Mr. Rhyme. That's why there's one in the thing. Once I um, get more Drugs of Blaze packs soon, I'm going to try to bling out the Mad Partiers. I am still working on the Mad Party deck in Standard, but I want to make a unique Mad Party deck in Standard. Like a unique take on the deck, so I'm still trying to theory craft, come up with ideas. Ooh, let's go. We got a Charizard VMAX. 
That's awesome. I'll take it. Hey guys, getting into another game here, guys. We're plowing through games today. I mean, this is gonna be a video where it's like we might get a long game like that Dragon Ball game, and then we just might get a nice quick game. We win the coin flip, you know the drill. We're making them go first. Hoping they're not playing something silly like Donk. Oh, but we get the Dedenne Star. But we have Comp Search. Okay, we have a fine enough hand. As long as we can move the Dedenne, it's not the end of the world. And they're Mulligany too, which is pretty good. We can actually take a peek at what they're playing. It's a Grass deck. They're playing Decidueye. Unfortunately for my opponent, they probably don't stand a chance. They probably don't stand much of a chance. I mean, they could play Obstagoon, I guess, which could counter us a little bit. We'd have to, like, gust around it, but we'll see. I mean, they probably don't play Obstagoon, though. I mean, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I guess Expanded Sidewise is interesting because it can't get shut off by much other than, like, Garboder. Um, there's a Mew, alright, beautiful. Ooh, they got the Bird Keeper build, alright. They do have Wind Shard, I guess. That could be an issue. They could use the Baby Rowlet to snipe something on the bench. Other than that, though, I mean, I don't see how they're winning this. We're just gonna, we're pretty much just gonna run them over. We're making them go first, too. Unfortunately, they got two Pokemon, so we can't quite, like, get that little donk that we're trying to get here. Uh, but still, making them go, making them go first is still pretty good. We have a pretty pop in turn. We can computer search here for Floatstone, Quick Ball. We could do a lot of stuff with this hand. We'll see how this goes. I mean, best case scenario, we can draw, like, a, a Battle Compressor, a Bunnelby, a Shaman, a Dedenne, a Crobat. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we can draw that could kind of help us out here. Uh, we'll see. We could also do Guzma instead of Float, but probably the Float. Yep, there's Battle Presser Top Tech. That's what I was hoping for. And we don't really need that many Mad Partiers in the discard pile in this game, it looks like. Do we want to go N or Juniper? I guess just Juniper. But yeah, we don't really need to go too ham on the Mad Party discards, but yeah, this is fine. We're just going to do Juniper here. Floatstone, please do not be prized. Thank you for not being prized. I do kind of feel like maybe two floats is better. I guess you could maybe cut the revive, I guess. I don't know. We'll just quick ball for Bunnelby here. We're doing a knockout here. We probably need to get a couple more Mad Partiers in the discard pile, though. Just to make sure we're also not going to have to sit you We'll see. We should be fine here. Let's go Juniper. Two VS Seekers are down. There's a Compressor. Another Muse good. Let's play the Battle Compressor. Go. I'll just get rid of these three, actually. Nice. All right. Float into the Mew. Acrobike. Take this. And Mad Party for the knockout. How much is this? Should be like 140, right? Okay, 120. Cool beans. We have a couple Mad Party as prize, so we did get one though. Well, let's see what my opponent can do here. I guess like Decidueye could like snipe my bench too, but again, it's like it's it's just not looking good for them. <laughs> I mean. Loichi Pokemon could be our downfall, like in that Dragon Bolt matchup, but even then we still won. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. We need to get one more map party in the discard so we can one shot Decidueye. But again, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. We could see the Mew get knocked out here by a Swana. But then they need to Bird Keeper move their bench, so maybe that won't happen. That, oh, gear fails. That's not good. Do they have a supporter? They may not have a supporter here, which is pretty good. We'll see. See if they got one. It sucks that Redanian is going to stay and play all game. Because it's probably never going to get knocked out. But it is what it is. This is maybe why you maybe want to play a Scoop Net or two. Because you can use Shaman again. You can also pick up the Dedenne, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't feel like Scoop Nets needed. Yeah, they just concede. I mean, what I tell you about these easy wins. Let's see what we get out of this present box. 50 coins. Easy cap. Yeah, I mean, at this point, this is just pretty much a compilation of every... Um, every, like, game I pretty much get. It's just... Game after game after game. We're up against Fart Tarts here. That's definitely a name. All right, let's see if they make me go first. They do, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, but we do get a Bunnelby Star, which is good. We might have to mention uh, Crobat here so we don't get donked. Okay, that was a good top deck. We can actually probably just get Marshadow, I guess. They're playing a deck weak to fighting. Marshadow seems pretty logical. We can bench the Crobat here, too. Hey, look at that. We got a Battle Compressor. All right, we're chilling. We got a decent hand. We can just go one, two, three. Mad Partiers. One, two. Yes, so we're doing 100. All right, let's just pass. We'll wait a turn, see what they do. Probably knock out this double here with Marshadow. It looks like Marshadow is going to run them over. I guess we could have discarded a Guzma, too. I guess. I don't know. Because we could also Guzma around. But I think we just want to knock out this double. Skyla. It's not really going to do much for them. They actually need to get another basic here, actually. I guess they could play Silent Loud. I highly doubt they do. Um, 
We don't have like a field blower in here, I guess, but it's just no room. Okay, they got a fur bank. Well, if they don't bench something, we're just gonna win the game, so we'll see. I guess, well, they could get heads on this laser flip, which they don't, all right, nice. Okay, they do have a bench shot. I was gonna say, they don't bench anything here, we're just gonna win the game. But yeah, they're gonna get Shaman, that's fine. Don't really know what kind of deck they're playing. I don't really know any lightning deck that plays laser fur bank. Doesn't matter though, we're still gonna just plow them through. Yeah, they just pass. They don't even mention another basic. I mean, bruh. Float and a Marsh Shadow. We need to find a Bunnelby to discard. I guess we can Ultra Ball. Um, get rid of these. I don't actually want to get rid of the Great Catcher, but looks like the game's making me do it. I'm just gonna take Mew. Five more battle compressors and deep another energy. There we go. Ooh, it's a lot of uh, stuff to discard there. We have, we'll still have two VS Seekers left. We should be fine. Should be fine. All right, we get Bunnelby here to discard for Marsh Shadow. And we Juniper. And now we just need to not whiff an energy here to attack them. Oh, we whiffed the energy though. No. Bro, we actually whiffed it. Oh, no. Oof. Big oofs. Big, big oofs. I think that's all I want to get rid of, I guess. Damn. The energy whiff is real. Alright, well, just pass, I guess. Alright, well, rip, we didn't get energy. Uh, that sucks. This looks like we're not knocking out the double, but I don't even think the double's knocking me out. Like, I guess, I guess they had an energy they could knock me out Revenge Blast with, like, laser. Yeah, they just pass. It's gonna be another quick turn for us. Don't mind if I do. Gonna Juniper again. We're running out of draw cards, but again, I don't think that matters too much. As long as we just keep our resources, we should be fine. And Mad Party for the knockout. This is doing what? 450? Pfft, piece of cake, bro. Just a. Uh, it just didn't stand a chance. Comp search is good. Acrobike's good. Yeah, just see more cards that can help us out of a sticky situation in case we do like get end or something or we have to dig. I mean, this is pretty much cruise control. Master Ball. They're not even playing. Not even. They get a Pika? Okay, we don't have a Via Seeker, but we can computer search for Via Seeker and knock out the Pika ROM, which I'm probably gonna do, I guess, just in case of like a tag bolt, which I don't think will happen, but you know, you never you can never be too careful. Tool scrapper? Okay, that's fine. I have the muscle band on the Mew so that if we had to attack with Mew. No, they have an enhanced hammer? Dude, why do you play that cheese, bro? Why do you get the cheese? Alright, let's just do acrobike first. See what we get first. Special charge. Only one energy so far. Alright, there we go. That's what I was hoping for, because now what we can do is comp search here for... I guess we could over a stretcher. Just get the DC. And then we'll Guzma the Pika. Bring in the Marsh Shadow. Attach this. And take a knockout with Mad Party for, once again, 450 damage, right? No, more, because the resist the guy. Oh, 480, just 500. We could have put the Choice Man on if we wanted to be a bit savage and do more damage. We've got two more Mad Partiers. Got an end of the energy for the Mew or Bunnelby, which is good. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much a wrap. There's no way my opponent can win at this point, I don't think. Again, yep. We're already done the, we're already done the ladder. It's, or the wheel, whatever you call it. The, the ladder, the wheel. We've been done the ladder for a while, but we just, I mean, yeah, we may have ran quite a few games. We're going to run another one. I'm feeling like it, honestly. I'm just feeling like just playing games with Mad Party and just keep showing it off. This will be seven different matches. I've never had seven different video files for a single video before like this, but uh, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be a little nuts. We might be up against a lightning deck too, which once again, you just whip out the Mars Shadow. This is, boy, it's easy wins. We're going to let them go first as long as they're not playing Donk. I'm pretty sure they're playing a lightning deck. I mean, every sign is there. And we got a Mew start. We just hope Mew does not get Donk tier and we should be good. Our hand's not terrible. Could be better though. We have a little too many tools, but we'll make it work. Okay, they start with an Eevee. They don't realize I'm playing Mad Party, hopefully, which is good. They can get Jolteon in play, so we have to try to reach 200 damage, I think. Jolteon's got 200 HP. We'll see. Yeah, Jolteon. Yeah, okay. So, I want to see a Battle Compressor top deck. I think that's what I want to draw the most here, is a Compressor. We'll see if we can draw one. No, Acrobike? Okay, I'll play it. Tough decision, man. What would I ever take? All right, here's what we'll do. Ultra Ball. Have to go probably just Shaman, right? I guess we could do to Dene. Yeah, this is Dede change, whatever. 
I'm fine with this. We are going to lose two tools, but we should be okay. Oh, no. That was a bad dead day change. He gave me a bad hand. I guess that'll happen sometimes when you're playing this deck. Ah, oh, shoot. That's not good. Well, I think we have to do encounter. I think we don't have much of a choice but to do encounter here. Rip. Rip the hand. That's fine, though. That's fine. We can still draw with Shaman. We should be okay. I mean, the worst thing my opponent could do is, like, Swift run me, which could happen. Because then we can't attack the Jolteon. Then we have to get Guzma. All right. Not ideal. That was definitely not the ideal turn. But, hey, we, f we finally hit a rough patch where we kind of bricked off of a, off of a draw there. But, again, as long as I don't do Swift run here, we should run this Jolteon over, no pun intended. Mars, are you serious if you get rid of my Shaman? Okay, the Stretcher. Would have preferred this. What are they? What, why do you play Mars and Oh my god, they're doing Swift Run, bro. This guy's got the clown. Dude. What a jerk. At least he didn't get rid of DC or anything. Alright, we do a Bunnelby. Alright, Shaman, come in clutch for me, please and thank you. Alright, well, I'll take it, I guess. It's not really amazing, but I have to keep digging here. Keep on digging with Shaman until we can draw something. Bruh, what the heck is this? This is not good. This is very much not good. Ah, we can Guzma next turn and uh, hit them with Mad Party from the bench, but we're running pretty on fumes here. We can't seem to find any useful cards off of this. No supporters, no compressors. I mean, nothing, man. We're just kind of, we're not in a good spot. We'll see if they knock out the Dedene, though. Obviously, we didn't want to give him Shaming because it's weak to Lightning, so we just give him the Dedene and hope for the best. I don't know why this guy's playing Mars. I mean, it would be great if he would Mars the Poltegeist away. That would just, it would literally help me. How much are we doing right now? We're doing 100 damage, so we can do 200 to knock out the Jolteon in one hit. The Earring and Bell's a little annoying, though, not gonna lie, but it is what it is. Yeah, no prize? All right, beautiful. Can knock out the Jolteon. There's another Ultra Ball. Okay, so let's go Guzma. Bring in the Jolteon. We'll Ultra Ball again, I guess. Get another Marsh Shadow. Yeah, we don't have Crobat. We're just gonna take, I'm gonna take another Marsh Shadow here, I guess, and just go for the Mad Party in case. Whatever. We'll take our two prizes. So hopefully, we get something on the prizes. We probably prize the Compressor. I guess we should have checked there when I played the ball, but whatever. Acro Bike. Alright, there's a good card. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I knew it. We knew we prized a Compressor. Alright, now we're back in business. We can also Guzma next turn, too, which I'm probably gonna do because we're confused. This man's got Janine, bro. Who plays Janine? What are you doing? Professor's Letter. You can get another Jolteon. I guess you can hit me for 30. We'll have to hit the, knock out the Bolt Hunt here. Or you could manually retreat, I guess, too. We do have Special Charge somewhere in the deck, so it's not the end of the world. As long as they don't Enhanced Hammer me, we can retreat into the other Marsh Shadow, which is fine. Thunder Mountain? Ooh, they might knock me out with Headbolt, which I guess is what it is. Nope, they do not knock me out. Right. It is what it is. Plus, we have enough HP to take a hit from a Swift Run. So we go DC, retreat. We do need to put a Juniper in the discard pile. So we go do this. Put the Juniper there. Do we have special charge? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Play this. You love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. All right, now we're back in business. Now we're just running. We're running on the steam here, folks. We got that steam run. We Juniper. There's the special charge. All right, lovely. Oh, we didn't get a way to discard these two mad partiers. That's fine. Do this. What else do we want to get rid of? Definitely Rhyme. The other Compressor can also go. Treasure can also go, because we don't need that anymore. And Mad Party for a lot of damage. Actually, we should bench some you. All right, there we go. All right, Mad Party for a lot of damage. How much? 500? 440? Not bad. Take our prizes. Dead card. Dead card, okay. That's fine. I think we're in a good spot, though. We can... Yeah, I think this is game over. They can't even knock out my Marsh Shadow here with both Hunt, so I think this is pretty much it. Hmm? Lysander on what? The Marsh Shadow? Yeah, all right. They're going out in honor, and that will be game. We may have gone a bit of a dead kind of doldrum part where we just weren't drawing very well, but yeah, it looks like we're just going to win the game here once again. Marsh Shadow... 
Proven that it is the MVP. Mad party, 440 damage. Didn't stand a chance. Bye bye, Boltund. Ooh, we passed a lot of mad partiers. Holy cow, I didn't even realize. That's nuts. Well, good thing we have that type of advantage. But okay, now I'm gonna wrap up today's PC video, guys, with the mad party deck. I think we've done a good job showcasing the deck here in all of those matches. They're pretty consecutive, too. Like, they weren't like after one or another. They were like one after another. It wasn't like cut in the middle. So don't worry. Anyways, but yeah, this is. Uh, Mad Party and Expanded is pretty filthy. I guess any change I would make, honestly, you could probably try to make room for a couple scoop up nets. Um, other than that, I mean, again, this deck is just ridiculously powerful. You make your opponent go first, you run them over turn one with Battle Compressor spam, and yeah, Mad Party is just a filthy deck. It is definitely a very strong Expanded deck for sure. Might get body by Alternate Krasma. It is what it is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this PDCGO video, guys. If you did, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are also new to the channel. Help me on the road reaching 10k subs. What if we do reach 10k subs, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Um, also, guys, check out the Patreon down below. Plus $2 a month for exclusive content. You can also uh, check out Karkov and TCG down below, too. Uh, use code LDF if you get any codes. And that will be it for the video on Expanded Map Party. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.